Welcome to Module 1 of the INFORM Subnational Training. In this module, we will talk about INFORM Risk Index's key features, review INFORM's values and guiding principles, and discuss the rationale for developing an INFORM Risk Model. We will also look at the training objectives and who the training is for. And finally, we will talk about the supporting materials that help you learn throughout the training. As a quick review, INFORM is an open source risk assessment methodology for crisis, governance, and development planning. An INFORM subnational risk index captures a detailed picture of risk and its components at the provincial, municipal, or village level that is comparable across a region or a country. It is used by decision makers to analyze and visualize risk, and it supports decisions on crisis, disaster response, preparedness, resilience, risk reduction, and sustainable development issues. The INFORM initiative publishes a global INFORM risk index, which consists of a national level risk index, an assessment for 191 countries. This means one number capturing risk for each country. The INFORM subnational model uses the same risk assessment methodology and development process but it's adapted to a regional or a national level. The result is a risk model for humanitarian crisis and disasters that has the same features and benefits as the global model, but is subnational in resolution and can be applied at the province, municipal, or village level. Subnational models profile regional and national risk by developing a set of indicators that reflect the specific hazards and conditions of these areas. The subnational INFORM process is flexible. Partners identify the most relevant components of the model and create a highly customized product. The subnational model offers high resolution and provides risk mapping profiles. The model is frequently updated and validated and can provide assessments based on national and regional planning cycles. Another feature of INFORM is that models are developed collaboratively, resulting in an open and shared analysis of risk that can be used by many organizations. This approach is intended to ensure that collective actions and resources to address crisis and disaster risk are aligned with the location and the nature of the risks. Developing an INFORM subnational model is a locally owned and managed process. It is cost efficient and it's supported by the Global INFORM Partnership. This approach ensures that each model has local buy-in and is used in local analysis and decision-making processes. It makes sure that the entire process is adapted to the local risks that are faced in that place. In addition, the model draws on global resources and expertise. The model is validated according to global standards and best practices. Inform models are based on a set of guiding principles that form the foundation of the partnership. All informed models are global, open source, transparent, continuous, and flexible. Let's go through each one of these characteristics or principles in detail. First, we have global. The inform model covers 191 countries, providing one risk score per country. In the case of the regional and national models that we're discussing in this training, global means complete coverage of the region or the country of interest. Open source. All data used in the informed model process is open and in the public domain. All the results are freely available. Transparent. The methodology and sources are published and are available for review by all. Continuous. Inform models are always available, regularly updated, and comparable over time. Subnational models developed in different contexts are tailored to specific risks and therefore are not comparable to each other or directly to the global model. So for example, a risk score for a particular province in Burundi cannot be directly compared to a risk score for a province in informed Central Asia. And finally, flexible. INFORM is a standalone model to establish a common basic understanding of risk. 
that can be adapted to incorporate additional organization-specific, geographical, or thematic components. The subnational model demonstrates this flexibility by capturing locally relevant risk. The plan is there to make inform work for you and for the partners at the local level. You can change it as needed during the development process to make that happen. Now let's talk about the rationale for developing an informed model. Subnational informed models offer many benefits to leadership and coordination systems, as well as specific technical advantages. Let's talk first about leadership and coordination benefits. The first main reason to do one of these models is to develop a credible shared analysis. The interagency or brand neutral inform methodology and outcome bring together a wide cross section of societal actors that work together to identify challenges and map risk. The process can create a credible shared analysis through collaboration, data exchange, and joint action. Uniting government, civil society, aid actors, and academia around a risk mapping process is beneficial in any operating context. The second benefit to leadership and coordination is the promotion of resilience thinking. The INFORM methodology is emerging as a leading tool for multidimensional resilience thinking and programming. Humanitarian organizations and governments are increasingly eliminating the silos that separate humanitarian response, development, disaster risk reduction, and governance programming. The INFORM tool gathers from a wide range of sources to create a wide spectrum view of risk and can contribute to integrated programming. The third reason is decision support and integration. The INFORM model can support other tools such as the World Food Program's integrated context analysis or the Food and Agriculture Organization's REMA tool to enhance transparent quantitative decision making about humanitarian development and disaster risk reduction programming. Beyond the leadership and coordination benefits that we just described, the INFORM methodology provides the following technical benefits. The first one is unifying a diverse group of data sets. Participant organizations in the process and supporting project managers who run the process do a broad-based impartial data inventory to locate and vet existing data sets across all different sectors. This data mapping process can be a valuable addition to any operating context. A second reason is integrated analysis and discovery. The process then compares the data through data cleaning, scaling, and processing to make each data set comparable across seemingly unrelated sectors. This analytical process allows comparison and analysis in previously separate spheres potentially leading to new connections and conclusions based on open source evidence. The third and final reason to do this from a technical perspective is trend mapping. With the proper data and system maintenance, the informed model can track and demonstrate overall risk trends, as well as movement within each component of hazard, vulnerability, and capacity. Beyond the leadership, coordination, and technical benefits that we just described, the informed subnational models have many other uses. Let's talk about a few of these other uses. The informed subnational index can provide a quantitative foundation for national government risk and development planning that is integrated across all sectors. The informed index can also be a standalone risk analysis and management tool to integrate risk management into humanitarian, government, development, prevention, and preparedness planning. Furthermore, the model can provide evidence-based quantitative scores for planning processes such as the Humanitarian Needs Overview, the United Nations Development Framework, and the Humanitarian Program Cycle. And finally, the model offers many potential links to national and regional private insurance entities for shared analysis and insurance-based interventions. These uses can lead to better outcomes for institutions and people facing complex risk. The broad, multi-sector risk analysis that INFORM delivers is needed everywhere so that we can better understand our operating environment and make better response decisions. 
informed subnational modelers are growing and expanding their use and reach. Do you have a new use that we have not yet included in this training? Please get in touch and let us know. The opportunities here are immense, and we really hope that you join us in building and applying informed subnational in the governance, development, and humanitarian fields. This training is for any humanitarian professional who wants to make an informed model. The informed subnational e-learning training teaches humanitarian information management professionals to design, coordinate, and build an informed model. This training also provides process and technical guidance on subnational informed models and targets all potential informed partners in government, international agencies, development partners, civil society, and the private sector. The training helps informed partners understand, plan for, and implement the informed subnational model process. This training also distills information collected through the implementation of a pilot regional informed model for Africa's Sahel and East Africa regions. It also includes lessons learned from informed subnational models in Niger, Guatemala, Lebanon, Colombia, and Burundi. The guidance takes the global informed process, which exists using national level data, that is admin zero with one risk score per nation, and adapts this system to the national and regional context by using subnational data, that is admin level one and below. The global level inform is useful for large scale global planning and trend mapping. The subnational informs that we're talking about in this training are more suited to regional and national planning and look at the local and operational level. We believe the following equation to be true. Better risk assessment equals better humanitarian development and governmental programs, which equals better outcomes for affected people across the world. The training is a simple, elegant online course that delivers audio, video, and supporting materials to help you complete all stages of the informed subnational process. This training is designed for both coordination and data specialists. The coordination and data tracks of this process are both crucial for a successful inform. Accordingly, this training provides guidance and support to both skill sets. Each profile or track is equally important. You can find both data and coordination skills in one person, or you may need a team to ensure that all elements are covered. The picture on your screen shows the many team members who worked to build the informed Central Asia regional model in 2017. The data profile is often covered by a technical team member working in the field with government, UN, or NGOs managing data, creating maps, and graphics. They work to coordinate the data sharing, which is not an easy task, and make products like maps and graphics. The training also helps you learn how to be responsible for ensuring collaboration, buy-in, and managing the workshop and participatory elements of the informed process. Let's take a look at the training materials for this training. The training uses the technical guidance document as a study guide. This is a simple text-based guidance tool for developing a subnational informed model. The document is written for both the leadership and technical tracks and for those who are participating in the informed model development process. Thank you for participating in module one of the informed subnational risk index training. In this module, we discussed the vision and principles of the INFORM approach. We also elaborated on objectives, uses, and the rationale for the INFORM model. In our next module, module two, we share knowledge on managing the INFORM subnational process. INFORM is much more than data. The participation of a broad range of partners makes INFORM unique. Partners come together to create a framework, share data, and build a model and then maintain the model over time. The model itself is meaningless without partner buy-in, participation, and use. Accordingly, this section is focused on the coordination and leadership elements of defining and managing a process for the informed subnational model. <laughs>